Tonawatan County. His son, Paul Murdoch, is standing in a small feet room in some kennels they had on the property. About 8.50 p.m., and the defendant over there, Alec Murdoch, took a 12-shade shotgun and shot him in the shoulder, in the chest and the shoulder, with buckshot. And the evidence is going to show it was a million to one shot. He could have survived that. But after that, another shot went up under his head and did catastrophic damage to his brain and his head. The evidence is going to show that Paul collapsed right outside that feed room. And just moments later, just moments later, he picked up a 300 blackout which is a type of ammunition, but an AR-style rifle. And the evidence is going to show that the family had multiple weapons throughout the property, picked up that 300 blackout rifle, and opened fire on his wife, Maggie, just feet away near some sheds that used to be a hangar. Pow, pow! Two shots, abdomen in the leg, and took her down. And after that, there were additional shots, including two shots to the head, that again did catastrophic damage and killed her instantly. The evidence is going to show that neither Paul nor Maggie had any defensive wounds. Neither one of them had any defensive wounds as if they didn't see a threat coming from their attacker. And the evidence is also going to show that both Pat, Maggie, and Paul were shot at extremely close range. The evidence is going to show it's called stippling. It's almost like a tattoo, that when you get shot very close to a weapon, it leaves marks that the forensic pathologist can see. They were shot at close range, and they did not have defensive wounds. And the evidence is going to show that the defendant, Alec Murdoch over there, told anyone who would listen that he was never at those kennels. But the evidence is also going to show from these things that every one of us, most of us carry around in our pocket, that he was there. And he was there just minutes before with Maggie and Paul, just minutes before their cell phones go silent forever despite what he told people. I was never at those kennels. The cell phones are going to show otherwise. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Craig Waters. I'm with the Attorney General's Office, and I'll be the lead prosecutor. I introduced myself before. With me is David Fernandez, Savannah Gow, John Metters, Don Zelenka, John Conrad, and Johnny James. A lot of lawyers. This is a big case. It's a very complicated case, and that's why there's so many people working on it. Sitting in back in the row, we have David Owen, who's the lead investigator. We have Lieutenant Charles Gent, uh, who's one of the agents. Lieutenant, or excuse me, Special Agent Ryan Kelly and Special Agent Peter Rudolfsky. Some of the agents that are working on the case, as well as uh, Investigator Isaac Toledo, who's working on the case as well. There's some of the witnesses that you'll hear from as we go through this case. The judge talked to you a little bit about him being the judge of the law. And he gives you the law. And I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the legal concepts before I turn back to those facts. Just remember, though, he's the judge of the law. So you take what he says. Anyway, this is happening live right now, just a couple of miles away from me here in Colleton County. This guy, Alec Murdoch, he was very wealthy. He was in a family of well-to-do solicitors in Colleton County, Hampton County, five counties in the low country. They had money. Houses, land, they, five generations, no, no, I'm sorry, generation after generation of um, lawyers and attorneys down here. Anyway, the trial, he killed his wife and his son. The trial is live on Law and Crime and Fit News and other outlets. Just look up Alec Murdoch, murder trial. You should be able to find it. It's worth looking at. It's the biggest trial in South Carolina currently and probably ever will be maybe. Um, but anyway, it's right here in Colleton County. Like I say, I'm just a little ways away from there. Um, it's just very interesting. But 
He's also been indicted on 99 other charges, fraud. I mean, he stole tens and tens of millions of dollars from people. And it ended up with him killing his wife and son. It's, it's a long story. Anyway, it's being played out now.